Hey guys, Rodney McClure, Ace Window Tinting and Gasket Pro Tools. New tool here we're going to introduce to you. This is a polymer, so it's a non-scratch material, so you don't have to worry about scratching your door panels or laminated glass. So, this is a prototype, but this is a spin-off from our original GP1 Gasket Pro Speed Loader. This is a full 29 inches long. It utilizes the adjustable lanyard with a single clip under the bottom. Uh, it has enough room to bottom load one of these new vehicles and you can't get the seal out without pulling the panel But it's hell to get back in anyway. This thing is a uh, like I say it's one lanyard pulls it all, all the way across through here We pull this thing down cinch this lanyard Tighten it up then we've got a gap that we can throw a cat through down through here your films only You know how thick it is you tint you know if you don't then you got no business tinting anyway Come on up this way Philip. We're going to drop this thing in up here at the front. Show them up here at the front. What we're doing, we're dropping this thing in short side first so we can rotate this film right up behind the seal. And once we get that in, we're going to slide it forward just like this. Then the back, I'll pull it forward just a little bit. You see where you got this gap over here? It creates a finger here so we can drop this film. And I'm going to drop it right off in there. And I'm going to take the top and I'm going to take my hand, never touch the glue, but I'm going to roll it down like this. So we're right where we need to be. And once we do that, I'm gonna get this thing positioned exactly where I want it, up top. And I'm not so much worried about the bottom now. We're already down below the seal, so we're golden there. Put this here. Go up top and let these guys see across that edge right there. Follow it along through there. Now, that's us. Now I'm gonna take this link to which we thoroughly love we're going to tack this down across through here just like this this thing is made to push i am dragging it backwards now just to seat this film and i tell you guys something else i do on these windows it makes life a whole lot easier on this one this window does require a little heat or a little snapping turn them sideways and i will shrink it and put some some fake curve into it side to side versus up and down because you can't shrink it up and down if you cut it on the plotter sideways. Anyway, that's where we are with that. And I'm gonna go ahead and completely lock that in. Put the sledgehammer on the handle. I asked, but anyway. That window, the film's locked in. We're all the way to the top edge. We're good to go. We're gonna let this window up. Now, you see how all that's down in there. Worked perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing. Start here in the center and just push it down below the two, just like this. You can see where we put that little bit of curve in it, how it's trying to fight you, but when you pop it in the corners, it's locked in, it's there. That's the cool thing about adding a little shrink to it, it makes it conform to the glass. Some of you guys probably look at this sledgehammer and go, and that doesn't look like the one you sell. Now this is one of the originals from way back when. The blade's only this thick. And uh, I'm going to tell you, this thing, I made it in 2017, and I take care of my tools. I don't drop them, I don't beat them up, but they last. There that is. I'll come back after I've done these corners. I'll put one final pass on it. And once I do that, this baby's going to be ready to take the uh, tool out of and We'll be good to go. Like I say, if you overlap when you're doing this, what this does, this lessens any chance of a customer calling you and going, my window's got bubbles in it, when in reality they're evaporation or drying bubbles is what they are, are just moisture. And uh, a lot of customers, they just, they'd rather not have to deal with it. 
And as an installer, I'd rather not have to answer that question over and over because I find it mundane. If we do our job to begin with, we don't have all those questions from the customer. Now, that baby's done. I push, take a little pressure off right here. Take my thumb, release that. You see how that baby jumped up? Here's that uh, lower clamp that I was telling you about. That's how that works. Now we're gonna take this baby right here. Lay it up in there. We're gonna bring it out just like this. Panels all dry under here on the switches and everything. However many is watching, we're all gonna see this door glass for the first time on the outside. You'll see, go up close to it, Philip. While these people will do your video from 40 feet away, you can get right up next to this thing. There's zero trash, zero bubbles, zero fingers. And that's what you're looking for, guys. Go ask for your tools by name. Good tools ain't cheap, and cheap tools ain't good. Innovation at its best every day.